Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss how to run dependent sample t-test in SPSS. But before that, let us try to understand different types of t-test. In my previous video, we have already discussed one sample t-test in which we are extracting a sample from the population and we are trying to compare the mean of the population with the mean of the sample. We have already discussed the independent sample t-test in which the means of two groups are compared. Our null hypothesis in this case is there is no significant difference in means of two groups. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this lecture series. Now, today we are going to discuss dependent sample t-test. In dependent sample t-test, means of same group is compared before and after the treatment. So, our null hypothesis here is there is no significant difference in means before and after the treatment. Now, how we can do this? Let's see in SPSS. Say, for example, after watching the SPSS tutorial videos, we have collected the skill sets or we have collected the skill sets of the employees. Have they increased or not? So, we have rated them on 1 to 10. If the skill sets have increased, we will rate on higher side. So before watching the videos of SPSS, their skill sets, and after watching the videos, what are their skill sets? So what will be the null hypothesis? We'll first start with the research hypothesis. SPSS tutorial videos have increased employees' skill sets of using SPSS. We will convert this research hypothesis into the statistical hypothesis. There is no significant difference in SPSS skill sets of employees after watching tutorials. Then the alternative will be there is a significant difference in SPSS skill sets of an employee after watching the tutorials. My null will be mu1 is equal to mu2. Alternative is mu1 is not equal to mu2. Now how to run this test? Let's see in SPSS. We'll go in analyze, compare means and we'll be running paired sample t-test. It is also known as dependent sample t-test. Click on it. Press reset. Before, transfer it. After, transfer it. So is there any significant difference before and after the treatment? The treatment here is watching the videos. Click OK. We don't have Levin's test here. The reason is we are comparing the same groups. You can see here. The same group is compared. But in case of independent sample sample t-test, two different groups are compared. In case of dependent sample t-test, it is very much essential that the number of samples are same. See, here, 10 people are studied before the treatment and after the treatment also 10 people should be studied. But in case of independent sample t-test, we have seen that when we are comparing male and female, it is not necessary that male and female should be having an equal sample size. So that's a basic difference in both of them. Okay, now click OK and you will get the results. So these are your results. I have copied the results in the Word file. First thing which you have to see is this value, SIG value, P value. As a P value of T test, minus 7.95 is 0, 0, which is less than 5% level of significance. So we reject null hypothesis means that the SPSS skill sets of an employees have changed significantly. Now, has the change towards the positive side or negative side? Let us see. Mean before watching the video is 3.4. And after watching the video, that is a tutorial series, the mean is 8. Therefore, it means that as we have rated the good, that is, for the better has been rated towards a higher side. The skill sets, if they are increased, they are rated towards a higher side. So here it is 8. This means that the change has happened, the significant change has happened, and the change has happened for the betterment. For more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.